गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सम ऑफ द स्मॉलर सेल ऑर्गनल्स और द सेल बॉडीज द फर्स्ट वन इज जनरली कॉल्ड स्पेरोजोम्स नो वॉट आर एक्जैक्टली स्पेरोजोम्स स्पेरोजोम्स आर द स्मॉलर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंडेड बॉडीज प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाजम विच हेल्प इन द सिंथेसिस एंड स्टोरेज ऑफ द फैट and they are generally present in the plant cell so majority of the plant cell generally contains a membrane bounded cell organelle and they are generally scattered only in the cytoplasm and they play an important role in the synthesis and the storage of the fat they are generally called as the sporozoa so sporozoms they are the smaller membrane bounded bodies required for the synthesis of the fat and synthesis and storage of the fat and always present in the plant cell second one is called glyoxysome glyoxysomes are the micro bodies which contains enzyme for the oxidation of fatty acid right we know very well that is ox oxidation of fatty acid means for the breakdown of the fatty acid certain enzymes are required and those enzymes are present in a cell organelle or the micro bodies which are called glyoxysome so glyoxysomes are the micro bodies which are required or they contain an enzyme which is required for the oxidation of the fatty acid that is breakdown of fatty acid third one is generally called peroxisome peroxisomes are also the unit membrane micro bodies and they are required for the formation of the per, uh, peroxide right they are required for the formation of the peroxide now this peroxisomes are present in both plant cell also and animal cell also and they are associated with the endoplasmic reticulum so peroxisome they are the micro bodies they are having a unit cell uh, i mean to say unit membrane and they generally play an important role for formation of the peroxide they contain enzymes such as catalases and oxidases which are required for the formation of the peroxide and they are present in both plant cell and the animal cell now let's in short distinguish between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell okay you will get a question for hardly two marks distinguish between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell so we should know prokaryotic cell first point prokaryotic cell is a primitive cell eukaryotic cell is a advanced cell correct second point prokaryotic cell is a smaller cell and eukaryotic cell is a larger cell third point prokaryotic cell does not contain nucleus nor the nuclear membrane but the eukaryotic cell contains a well defined nucleus and surrounded by a well defined nuclear membrane next fourth point membrane bounded cell organelle are absent in the prokaryotic cell what are membrane bounded cell organelle which are attached to the membrane such as mitochondria golgi bodies endoplasmic reticulum lysosome they are majorly absent in the prokaryotic cell but membrane bounded cell organelle are present in the eukaryotic cell fifth point here prokaryotic cell wall is generally made up of peptidoglycan or muramic acid right but in eukaryotic cell when you talk about the plant cell plant cell contains the cell wall animal cell does not contain the cell wall so the plant cell wall is generally made up of cellulose sixth point here cytoplasm does not undergo streaming movement right streaming movement is nothing but a movement which is found in the cytoplasm right and here in eukaryotic cell the cytoplasm does uh, generally shows the streaming movement seventh point prokaryotic cell generally contains plasmid plasmids are present in the prokaryotic cell what are plasmid extra chromosomal self replicating or self autonomous replicating units are generally called as plasmid and they are present in the prokaryotic cell but the plasmids are absent in the eukaryotic cell eighth point true sexual reproduction is absent in the prokaryotic cell but the true sexual reproduction is generally present in the eukaryotic cell ninth point respiratory enzyme in the prokaryotic cell are present in the inner folding of plasma membrane called mesosome we know inner folding of the plasma membrane are called mesosome and they generally contain respiratory enzyme but in eukaryotic cell the respiratory enzymes are totally present in the mito chondria because mitochondria plays an important role to provide energy so here respiratory enzymes are present in the mitochondria right 
Okay. And last point, 10th point, what I want to say about the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell is that the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell, the complexity of the prokaryotic cell is less, but the complexity of the eukaryotic cell is high. Correct? Now, here, 11th point, 70S type of ribosome is present. And in eukaryotic cell, 80S type of ribosome is present. Correct? 70S type of ribosome is present in the prokaryotic cell and 80S type of ribosome is present in the eukaryotic cell. 70S means smaller, 30S larger, 50S. Here 80S means smaller, 40S and larger, 60S type of ribosome is present. Example of prokaryotic cell, all the bacteria, majorly cyanobacteria. Example of the eukaryotic cell, algae, fungi, plants and animal, they generally show eukaryotic organization. Thank you.